I done gave you what you needed. You don't want to take from it. You don't want to listen to it over and over. You don't want to study until you get it and apply it. That's on you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'm still here. I'm still taking it. Still here. Oh, oh, my girl Crystal on that video, she not just here taking it. She doing it. You look at the video. She doing it every day, and she's seen the benefits. She's made changes in her life. So saying something, listening to somebody is one thing. What are you going to do about it? Knowing somebody using you, knowing somebody tricking you, you can't let go because your emotions involved. So, so basically you don't have the willpower and the self-respect, no matter how bad it hurts you, to pull away from a situation and you know you're being fucking done wrong. So there's a lot of people that will say they know something, but they still don't have enough self-respect and willpower to pull away and take action. But they can let somebody do take all kind of damn G.I. Joe, all kind of damn action up in their ass and do all kind of goddamn karate moves on their fucking ass and slip their dick in and out of their motherfucking pussy and out their mouth. And you know that basically all he doing is playing for a fucking fool. You know it, but what action are you taking besides spreading your ass open and open your mouth and open what? your door to let them come in and out? Why stop giving them that? Well, well, I'm not talking about you. Focus. I'm just talking about in general. Uh, a lot okay. of people say, that, I know, I hear it, and I listen to the show. Yeah, but what are you doing? Because there's plenty of people that will say they know and they will listen and then go back and do the same shit and be a victim. And then, well, what about this? Well, I don't want to hear it anymore. Hmm. Unless I know somebody is really, really serious and I see they're serious and they're taking action, they can tell me, I read this book, and I know you're not going to read this book in a week unless you sit and you take a, a certain amount of hours every day mm-hmm. reading the yeah. book. Are you exercising? Are you meditating? Are you watching your breathing? Are you dealing with your pain? Are you journaling? That's a full-time job other than you working and taking care of children to heal yourself, to what master you? yourself. So if people, if, if somebody's told me they've done all of that, first of all, you're not going to complain to me because if you've done all of that, you have started to make a lot of transitions and you've started to grow. So when people whine a lot about the same shit or the same nigga or the same dick, then I basically know all they're doing is talking. They haven't taken any action. So those are the kind of people I'm interested in right now. I'm not going to spend a lot of time with emails from people and listening to the same dumb shit. Somebody keeps sending me the same fucking email, asking me the same questions about the same shit weeks go on, and I suggest you do this, this, and that, and a lot of people don't want to do it. That's the problem with, with us black people. A lot of black people are lazy. They want somebody to give them something. They want somebody to fix something for them. They don't want to do the work, but you can go get your hair done. You can get your nails done. You can get an outfit. You can fuck a nigga. You can go to a movie. You can go out to eat. You can do dumb shit. You can get on the phone and gossip, but you can't take time to work with yourself and heal yourself. You don't want to write. You don't want to read. But anything other than helping you, you can do that. You can read that. You can turn on TV listen to that shit. So the best thing for you to do is partner up with people that want to heal like you do and are supporting you in the process. But you're unequally yoked and you're a fool. If you keep wanting to heal and want to grow and the person you're trying to save don't want what you got, don't want to do what you're trying to try different, that's going to help change you and get out of the situation of being a victim. So you need to surround yourself by people around people that want to move where you're moving or that are already where you want to be. So you can learn from them how to get where you want to be. Anything else and anybody else is a waste of time. You need to set a criteria for the type of people that take your time, the people you're talking to on the phone, the people you fucking, the people you hanging with, the people you're eating with. You need to see what is your reason for being with them, what is their agenda, what are you gaining from it, what are you learning from them. How are they making you better or smarter or wiser? Are they leaving you in the same place? It's always gossip and he say and drama and bullshit, and you ain't getting the kind of love and respect you want from a particular person, but you're still engaging them? That's on you. You're selling yourself out because you didn't set an agenda. You're setting the boundaries. If you know there's people that like the gossip, I already made it my, my mind. When a certain person finna call me with some bullshit, I already look at the clock and I only give them a certain amount of time. I will give them five minutes. Depends on who it is and what it is. And you might not even get five. Because if I notice I've been talking to you for years and you always come talking about somebody or you're talking about your same goddamn problem and you had this problem five years ago, I'm finna co- I'm start watching the clock right now. Matter of fact, I'm, if I see you, I'm going to program your name, program your phone, your name into my phone. 
So I know when I see the person, I'm not answering the phone. And if they push me, I end up telling them. Every time you call, you call this dumb shit. You always talking about somebody else. But what are you doing? Because if you spent your time, the same amount of time you spent on the phone focusing on talking about somebody else, you spend that same t- amount of time every day working on yourself, you wouldn't have time to focus on anybody else, and your life would be better. Most times people talking about other people got fucked up shit in their own life they don't deal with because they focusing on talking about how fucked up somebody else is because that makes them feel better about themselves. That's right. You start looking at who you deal with and who you talk to and why. Because we haven't been taught to have an agenda about people. And it's like, well, that's wrong. Well, that's using. Really? Well, they're going to use you. And they're going to waste your time that you cannot get back. You should know the reason, and you should pick people to be in your life. There should be a reason why they're there, and it should benefit you and make you better. If not, then you're going to collect a whole bunch of riffraff around you, broken people that can't help themselves, so they can't help you either if you ever need them. So you didn't pick wisely. I already know you didn't study the art of war and the 48 laws of power. So somebody like that is not willing to, if you continue to put yourself around them and they don't want to help, don't get mad at them. Look at yourself because you obviously have some issues to keep wanting to save somebody that don't goddamn want to be saved. Does anybody have any comments before I go? Hi, Alexis. Hi. Hello. Um, 